We are recording. Okay. Sweet. And well, if all we... went well, my I, I resolved a video issue that we had in the last episode, so the video should be higher quality for those watching. Should be. Nice. Um, yeah. All right, Hunter. So we left off <laughs> with a pretty good game idea. Welcome everybody to episode two, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, welcome. This is uh, what hundred. Do we do we? Do we I don't think we need to introduce ourselves. In fifteen ourselves, seconds like... or less, can you tell us <laughs> what this is, and then we'll just get going. Uh, okay. This is a a. a well, it, it started out as a general tabletop role-playing game or game or uh i said 15 design. seconds or less <laughs> okay okay 15 <laughs> seconds or less, less less uh my name is hunter and my colleague is george and we're designing a tabletop role-playing game that is to be titled uh and this is basically document our progress from literally the inception of the idea to however far we get along Ex so yeah um, okay. Maybe if, and, if this is published, we'll look back and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, totally. Um, and we left off with this. I think it's a pretty cool idea. And this yeah. is more to refresh myself and maybe you as well. Mm -hmm. um, where with this huge document, uh, maybe one day we'll release this document to be like viewed by people. If we ever, if people actually ever like watch this thing, we could maybe <laughs> release this document as a view. So they can just see the live document. That would be kind of cool. Um, yeah. But basically, the the game is you are role-playing as, like, gods, like a pantheon of gods, like the Greek gods or the Norse gods or whatever. We're going to make them all totally fictional, no real-world analog. And then you, ha you have to both play as a god, and you have certain more politicking and role-playing interactions there. And then you can also... I don't know what the word is, but well, can... also I'd say like there's two sides to the game. Yeah, you you will send your followers. Yes, there's basically you yeah. will play as a god, which is more yeah role play, and you will also play as the gods' manifestations on the mortal plane. You know, you could you might play as yeah. a satyr, for example, or you might play as a um, cyclops, or you might play as a heroic human or a regular human. You know, so maybe maybe a good way to think of this is like. If you were playing as Zeus, you would play as Zeus, you know, doing all your, like, weird bestiality god stuff that he does. Yeah. And then you would also play as uh, Hercules, which I think is... Isn't Hercules the son of Zeus? Uh, if, yeah, if Disney's correct, then yeah. Yeah. That's, so a, then that's you would, a good way to put it. That's a really good way to yeah, put it. Yeah, so you would basically be playing as Zeus, who's, like, doing all, you know, your big, like, dynamic politicking and, like, role play. And then you'd also play as Hercules, where... Hercules may be a bad example because you wouldn't really have as maybe as much personality in your character. I, th you I think I think you totally think, could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be like a like a. Well, I think like a, a role playing way to describe the 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 like follower play is like D and D first edition, where like you know you had multiple units or multiple yeah. guys, and they would get just iced left and right. Um, and it was kind of a, a grind to you know bring them up to sort of a heroic level. And then the god, and then, you know, maybe a more, like, video game way of describing it is, like, XCOM or something, where you have, yeah. like, a squad or something. Yep. So it's exactly. kind of like a combination of those. And may maybe that would be a good task for us today. Because, again... Um, oh, think of, yeah. We've, we've done no planning. We, we were good. We <laughs> wanted to. And I wanted to really bad at times. We've done no planning since episode one. So you have missed nothing. Um, no nothing yeah. has been missed. And we I have, have not written not anything down. It. So, same. Um... <laughs> So we don't really have a plan either. So eventually we should have a, like a planning episode maybe where we just outline <laughs> what's going to happen. But I think maybe that would be a good idea is to really define – because we had sort of talked about the different types of servants. And right. yeah, that's, that's the word that we use. That's right. Servants are the mortal plane manifestations of your character, your god. So maybe mm -hmm. we should define like what types of servants you can have. We kind of started that and then maybe what they upgrade into. I, I think a, a very helpful thing we should do now is maybe to, instead of having one doc called the podcast game, we should make a folder called the podcast game and then have maybe make one document that says uh, God play and one that says mortal play and then start maybe. That's, you know, a, that's a really good idea. Um, and, and, and yeah, and maybe even I was thinking almost like maybe what we could do is make. Maybe for now, what would be helpful for this hour would be to 
really kind of hammer out like the, how we want this game to be played. Yeah, you know, maybe I, like I like you know, draw on some influences from other games totally. and stuff like that, and like make almost like a touchstone doc or something. That is a really good idea. Bam! And we're back, everybody. Ooh, <laughs> well, the magic of editing. <laughs> how uh, did so that happen? We we now have a. a uh, more slightly more organized way just on our end it won't make any difference to you guys at home uh we have our stream of consciousness document which is just like all ideas and then we have two new documents one for the mortal world one for the immortal world um just so it's a little bit more organized as we go on here um mm -hmm. so hunter you brought up a really good point before we did this cut that we should maybe define what this game looks like right so maybe should we start with the immortal gameplay or the mortal gameplay what do you think would be more useful to start with um i don't know i mean this is kind of yeah this is interesting because like i feel like like each of these are gonna be, i feel like eventually each of these will sort of become i mean if we continue this with this like our our separate babies right like i feel like i'm gonna get more interested in the the immortal gameplay just because of the way i like you know yeah totally but like I, I, I'm fine with either. I, I'm definitely equally excited about both of them. Well, right now. maybe just because it's, well, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's 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 like a, it's like you see a really delicious cake in front of you and you don't want to eat it because <laughs> it's like it's you know it's like so perfect. <laughs> it's like un unruined yet. Um, right. Maybe we should start with the immortal one just because I feel like that makes more sense. That yeah. is like the main like the mortal world is the offshoot. It's not, but it is. If that makes right. Sense. Okay. And I'm well, gonna... I like that you like made them separate docs too, because it's like it's like very emphasizing, you know, that these are two almost two entirely separate sure. games in some way. Yeah. Um, and just um, this is not important. I'm just going to make all of our font sizes 18, so it's easier to see for the um, podcast. The viewers at the, home. The, view, the the zero viewers that we currently have. <laughs> uh, it'll be easier to see. Okay. What is what does the gameplay look like when you're playing as so you're playing. Uh, playing as a god in a pantheon of other gods, which are both NPC and PC, correct? Right. So we've established that there's a GM in this in this yeah. game. Yeah, yeah, there is a so, GM. So there are NPC gods, basically, yeah, yeah. that okay. the GM would play. And, like, that's actually cool because that also lets the GM have fun too and like oh i get to make a god too or a couple gods right so what's like i don't know yeah we got to think about this we got to think about like gameplay and okay like, let, let me ask you this and I, maybe i'll yeah. just ask you a couple questions and that'll get our yeah. ball rolling here hunter what like okay and again i'm gonna refer to like the existing pantheons and that'll maybe help us design how do you make um Ares the god of war in this game Okay, so I yeah my 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 vision for this was that gods would have, uh, gods would not have stats. Gods would have like aspects. Yeah, you use right? that word, and I think this aspect is a pretty good word. Right. So like, almost in the way that like you know how remember how like when you you make like a cleric in D and D, your god has like, like different spheres or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, oh, hmm. okay. What if? Okay, and for now, I'm going to steal that terminology, but we can, you know, maybe we'll come up with better descriptors for it. What right. if, and I can picture it in my head, and there's no good way to, like, type this out. What if, when you make a god, first off, mm -hmm. you have to choose, and I'm going to say the word sphere. And, like, one sphere might be um, violence, one might be peace, one might be, um, you know, love, one might be nature. Okay, then within right. each sphere, there are different aspects that you add to it. So there could oh, be okay. a, a god who's in the sphere of violence, but this is like maybe maybe within that there's the god of war, but maybe also within that there's like um, the god of wolves would be in the sphere of violence as well. Um, oh, okay. Or you could maybe also make a god of wolves through the sphere of nature. Right, that's what I was thinking. I was almost thinking like what if... What if, as you were saying that, I was like, yeah, what if, like, your multi-classing was, like, picking aspects within your sphere that, like, it's like a Venn diagram, right? Exactly. Where it's like, yeah, you, you yeah. gotta pick the ones, and then eventually if you pick enough, like, uh, shared aspects, you can multi-class, quote-unquote, and gain another sphere. Yeah. Or something like that. Oh, and, and maybe, so, like, the sphere that you're in 
um, helps determine which uh, servants you can play as in the mortal plane. So, like, if you're in the nature sphere, you can play as, like, animals or, you know, like, uh, you know, maybe some monster is really easy. Whereas if you are in the violence sphere, you might be able to play as, like, uh, an Achilles or a Hercules more easily. You know what I mean? Oh, right, right. I see. Okay. So, so that yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they would reflect their followers. So it would be like, yeah, if you're, like, the wolf sphere... Oh, that'd be cool because okay, you have like so, shape shifting be like something that your followers so could, like, pick servants up. are reflective of a god's sphere, um, and then aspects yeah. further modify the sphere. Is are we understanding that correctly? Yeah, and I feel like we need a line in here where like, uh, yeah, I'm just typing out big ideas right now. Right, like, so it's like gods are defined by their aspects, by their spheres and aspects. Yeah. Totally, uh, yeah. Spheres are a... What's that? Like, are... What... Oh, maybe this is a good way. Are what the god is of aspects are what a god is um maybe is that like how because like are we thinking like like you're the god of wolves is that like a sphere or is oh that no no aspect? yeah i see what you i yeah like i like, think i don't know if that sentence totally makes sense to me but like i see like we're really close like we're we're, we're within a millimeter here right um, spheres are it. what the god is of um, you know what? Maybe an easier way, like a dumber way to write it, but an easier way to think about it is like the sphere is the main idea, and the aspects are like the the lesser ideas. Right. I'm well. So I'm just trying to think of like if what I feel like we need to think of like a hardish rule so that someone could because someone's going to be making their own spheres and aspects. So it have to be like spheres are like nouns and adjectives are ad, you know are, are oh, aspects. Are, I mean, yeah. I'm not saying that like that's actually what it is. I'm just saying like. I feel like we need a like May, something that no, is maybe, a very clean way to put it. Right? I agree. Maybe spheres are verbs, uh, or not ver is vi No, violence is a noun. I don't know. <laughs> Let's think spheres of our parts of speech. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, oh, it's like a yeah. I don't. Yeah, I know that is important. There should be, or maybe you and I pre-write all the spheres, but then aspects can be chosen by the. Created and chosen. By oh, players. that's maybe an idea. So the spheres I mean, are like yeah. hard to find. You got to pick one, and like I don't know how we even. That might be something that constantly changes. What are the spheres? Right, right. Um, so oh, like, maybe. Oh, you know what's a really good way to think about this too is maybe yeah. spheres define your game. So like, like if if you're if in your game the spheres are like like earth air water and fire like you're gonna play a very like i mean more than i mean like lightning you like you probably need at least like 10 spheres or something yeah that is like defines your game as like an elemental game but if you pick your game as like your spheres are farming uh oh fertility, my God. yeah and like like that that is setting the tone for your game of like this is basically the most like the entire aspect of you know, and maybe there's some weird process that you can like create a new sphere, but like spheres should be the way that your game is going to play. It's like oh, so maybe maybe when you start the game, all the yeah. players go around and like regardless oh, if yeah. your character is going to use this or not, maybe like your character isn't going to do it, but we have to choose a couple of spheres that define this game. Right. So maybe spheres define. Oh, maybe or maybe the way the world works kind of almost like yeah 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 work slash is yeah I, yeah slash is so like okay avatar Aspects. the last air yeah yeah keep going here finish describe well maybe you're earlier why don't you finish your thought because aspects are gonna be kind of their own thing, yeah so. well what i was thinking like a avatar the last airbender right yeah. the spheres i think like there's not really gods in that so like this is a little bit not related yeah but if, if we were designing a pantheon of gods for something like Avatar The Last Airbender, yeah, fire, earth, water, and air would be the right. spheres that we choose to play in. And then there might be aspects that further it. Um, and those aspects might be elemental or they could be um, 
like how in water bending there's healing but also fighting. Those could be right. aspects of the water sphere. Right, exactly. That's but then what I was also too, fighting yeah. within the fire sphere would look different than fighting within the water sphere. Okay, wow, this is really cool. Yeah, no, I like it's very like simple and yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. And it makes it very customizable too, which yeah, I think totally. is important. Something Replay like, this, like yeah. yeah, you can it's kind of now we want to be careful. We don't want it to be like too infinite. That like, okay, what even is this game like? <laughs> like right, yeah. right. I think I almost think that was a problem with like I was gonna say like one problem I think we had with Builders and Breakers is when you made it, we made it like too general. And yeah. I remember like trying to describe it to people, and it was just like it's, it's too like big. this, but like also this and this. It's like yeah, we need to be more like concrete. And yeah. I feel like maybe we maybe like the simplest way to like because we're both very familiar with this like world is just let's just like think about this in terms of like age of mythology right like yeah because like we both played a lot of that game and it's it's yeah. very similar to this it has you know demigods it has monsters yeah. like maybe that's a good way just to think it, about it's a it. good way to think i want to it's it's our touchstone it's not going to be the final product but we can use it to help us get there to guide us right so we'd be like our cantos would be like a follower <laughs> or you know gargarensis or like oh you know, man i love that like game that. <laughs> maybe maybe <laughs> like if we hit 10 episodes our 10th episode should be us just playing age of mythology together <laughs> <laughs> yeah wow oh now you're just using like milestones to get me to play alone <laughs> games with you. oh my uh, gosh okay aspects describe the way these spheres uh maybe like impact slash present themselves in the world. Yeah, definitely. Kind of like that? No, no, like, no, yeah. no, yeah, that's right. So like, again, I'm going back to Avatar here. Yeah, like like I said, with the water, like you have the water sphere, but then right. there are two different ways that a, a character in that world might represent that water right. sphere. You know, it's actually, almost wait, like wait, representations. Wait, wait. I'm gonna almost nix the idea I just had. Like, I think that's a good guiding way, but I almost think like let's think of we, like we should do a touchstone doc. I think at some point after this, yeah. and let's think of like three or five main worlds that this system would work in. And at any point, we should be able to be like we can build that world. In that's a system. really good idea. Like, can we and, build like, Greek mythology in this? Can we build? Right. Yeah, Avatar. Well, Avatar is a great one, a great contrast to Asian mythology because Avatar is entirely different. That's like it. Totally yeah. like, and not well, even there's close. no gods in Avatar, so it's a little bit different, but we can right. still apply most of it to that. Right, and you can well, even think there of, are I mean, gods, but there's spirits. Well, I mean, <laughs> well, here's here's maybe the thing, right? Is like maybe there are gods in Avatar, and it's just that, like, remember how part of this could be your gods in the mortal world are so separate that there's like nearly yeah. no connection. So maybe there, maybe you know, maybe it's like you could play Avatar with quote unquote gods and just have the gods be like. Totally. You'd basically be inventing your own cosmology for Avatar. <laughs> oh my god, you could reverse create pantheons. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Yeah, be, yeah. Um, okay, so, okay, I really like this, and I think we should still stick with it where you and I write all the, well, maybe not. I was going to say we write all the spheres, and that's like all the spheres there are. Aspects can be created by players at will, Yeah. but spheres are just kind of preordained. Written. Well, when we when we write it, I think like our good template world. I think that's what at, like what AOM would be good for because AOM is a very like ev everything in AOM is already written out, right? Like it's yeah. already obviously in like if we publish this, we would not use that stuff. But like when we're like writing it out, maybe it'd be good just to say like lightning god or like fire god, yeah. you know? And, like can and, we like, just for yeah. the purpose of yeah. maybe even just us remembering it next time we mm -hmm. work on this document? Let's make a sphere right now. And some aspects that might go with oh, it. Oh, that's a good we idea. We can trash yeah. it. This is this is totally rough draft, just spitting on the wall mm -hmm. here. Um, so here, let's make an example. Like, I'm gonna do another table because we love tables. <laughs> um, let's like a two column thing. Like, what are a couple spheres that we could have in this game? So like, um, so okay, like we said, like fire would be one. Water could be a sphere. Yeah. Earth and air, and these would be Avatar, or we could also have what would be some like Greek inspired, you know, Greek pantheon inspired spheres. Do you think? Sun, the moon, oh, yeah. sun. The, uh, for like, what's not not fertility? I mean, for, would fertility like, be an aspect, or would that be a sphere? I feel like fertility definitely could be a sphere, but like, what's the one hearth? Is that what I'm trying to think? Oh of? yeah, like, yeah, the hearth, yeah, the hearth. 
Hard. Oh, that's a, that's a really unique because like oh, and then you could modify that with like violence, like you're defending the hearth. Oh my god. Oh, oh, that's actually really. Oh my god, yeah, you can make it's so custom. So okay, well yeah. let's just, let's stick with um, we have the sun. I, I think what, war, what's the opposite war. of hearth? War. Uh, well, opposite of hearth, it could be like god of roads, god yeah, of right. traveling. Let's just stick with these for now. Like yeah, there's sure. many more we could do, but like, and I'm just yeah, separating this because yeah. they could all you know we could have. Earth, air, hearth, and moon could be the spheres that we choose for a game. You right. Know, you know what I mean? That would be a really weird one. Earth, air, hearth, and moon. <laughs> oh my god, that would be so random. That's almost like, it sounds like some sort of like, weird like werewolfy like. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I'm going to insert a row above really quick. So these would be the spheres. Oops. Would it make more sense to make each of these on their own, like, you know, maybe? On their own but could aspects be applied to any sphere? That's why I'm just having them as two columns. Well, not really, right? Because like, doesn't each sphere have their own? I thought each sphere oh, has yeah, their yeah. own. Yeah, you're right. Aspects you're right. or whatever, right. right? And some might overlap. And I don't know if a table is the best way to do this. I, there might. No, be... I think. I mean, I think it is. It's yeah. Just... For now, like in a word, I think a Venn diagram would be. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Venn diagram is is what we should, should do. But I think we're just doing this as a trial Air, kind of things. Earth, water. Okay. Oh, one extra. Okay. All right. So fire aspect would be like, like. Let's think of like like two at. I mean, this is just for fire. example. <laughs> <laughs> Super fire. Maybe like a forest fire. I got so, like that. Your aspect is a forest. I think oh, I oh my god! Learn how to type forest <laughs> fire. Was what? Well, would it be forest fire or would it be chaos? You know what I mean? I think chaos is its own. If oh my right? god, chaos yeah. is, like, like, aspects are <laughs> these aspects are so ill-defined right now. Um, aspects should be precise, right? Like they should be like a for like forest fires too could be like many other things, right? Like you shouldn't make it less than that, but yeah, you know. Okay, I think this would also here's be like maybe a good way for us to think about it. This just popped in my head. Tell me if you agree with this line of thinking. Multiple gods. There could be multiple sun gods, um, right. but like there's only going to be one god of forest fires. Yes. Asp oh, that's a that's a really important thing. I think <clears throat> we should say like like uh, like. Fears, excuse me. Fears can be shared. Aspects cannot. Oh, so like, Maybe. oh, so there can only be one god of forest fires. So like, once somebody takes forest fire. fires, like nobody else can take that. Like, mm -hmm. like so, if you get there before me and I really want forest fires, tough, you know. Right, and I think that would guide how you make an aspect. Right, is like ask yourself. Is it too broad that one god is covering this? That's why I feel like something like, you know, chaos, right? Like, there's, there could be more than one god of chaos, right? Like, you don't need... There's, like, Loki-like chaos in Norse mythology, but there's also, like, other gods in Norse mythology that right, are, like, yeah. are chaotic, Okay, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, so that's so, like chaos would be sphere. Okay, um, so you might have forest fires. fires. Um, I think you might have, um, like, candlelight. Campfires. <laughs> yeah. Okay, wait. Okay, are we just <laughs> listing different type of... Like, okay, wait. Hold on. Okay, yeah. No, I was think forging would be a good one. Maybe that's not, like... Yeah. Forge. The forge. That's what put it. The forge. Uh, I'm going to change this candlelight one to illumination. Yes, that's a good one. Yeah, 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 yeah. right. Because there's only one god of illumination. Like that would be ridiculous if you had like yeah. the god of. Okay, torches. but then to <laughs> to show how this system works, down in sun, I'm yeah. also gonna have illumination. Right. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So right. no, well, and also here I was thinking this would also be the forge or something too, right? Like, because that's also like yeah. Earth is like iron and like, you know, um, um water could be. Wait, I like. I think one. <laughs> What's up? Maybe I'm thinking too specific. I was <laughs> for some reason I thought windmills, but then I was like the, the god, the of, god of. No, that is way too. No, okay. There needs to be a cutoff as to what is too specific. Uh, this okay. Be, uh... Here's here's a way to determine if it's too specific. If it is a thing that you can like, um, not picture in your mind, um, but if it's like a, a definite definable thing, like, oh, you know, like this is windmill. I am touching windmill right now. I think that's too specific. 
Maybe maybe another thing should be uh, a good rule of thumb is ask yourself like I am the god of insert aspect right <laughs> yeah <laughs> does this sound reasonable you know, like I am the god of forest fires. I think that makes like that's not like that's yeah. maybe getting that's maybe like the bottom of yeah. The, that would be the you know, most possible specific the most one. Specific yeah. one. I'm the god of illumination. I am the yeah. god of the forge. I am the god of tornadoes. And you, I think you, that's like, and you wouldn't do. I I am the god of windmills. Like that wouldn't happen because <laughs> that's stupid as shit. <laughs> no, but what, like that would be. Remember you said like you could make a silly game. Like yeah, you know, yeah. You totally like, could be the god of windmills again. Like, like. Yeah, you're, all your what if your sphere is windmills and your aspects are like the blades, like the the, like the mill part. Like it's, it's just like stupid. Oh my stuff. god. Okay, um, so with water, like for example, to go, uh, you know, another example, like the tides yes, would be applicable to water and moon. Now let me ask you this. Oh, oh, here. Let's say I am, um, I have the tides aspect from water. Right. And you ha oh. can you have the tides aspect from moon or have I taken tides from everybody? I think if you have it from any sphere, it's gone. So there can no matter what, there can only be one tides god. Right. And I feel like every like sphere should have at least like 10 aspects to just start. Like you need to like like that's why when we make this we we should like have like, you know, general spheres people will pick in 10 sample aspects, but you know, there should be a pretty good variety. Yeah. Obviously, you could always create your own aspect in the moment. Yeah. And I think that would be cool too, because like it could offer a lot of role play, right? Like, what if like you know you're you're playing and like, you know, I don't know, maybe for some reason, volcanoes comes up and like you're like, I want to claim volcanoes as one of my aspects, you know, or like something like you can like yeah. I have the opportunity to claim that, right? Okay. So I'm um, I'm thinking now, should we even write aspects? I like, think it, that, like, it's fine well, that we do I, it I now as an example, yeah, yeah. but I mean, in the future, do we have any aspects or do we just write spheres? I think that we should, I think we should, we should, I don't even think, I think if we're not going to write, no, I, I, my, my idea, I guess, is like, I think when we like release this or whatever, quote unquote, like, yeah. or, or build a sample, or we should at some point build a sample Venn diagram and show like what it would look like. I think that we should provide like 10 spheres and in each sphere, 10 aspects. You know, or maybe maybe better yet, we should pick three worlds, and for every world, provide you know five to eight spheres, and in each one, whatever five to eight aspects. Yeah, okay. and then that's you know we're not killing ourselves with work, and it and it might be kind of fun to be like okay, like Avatar, right? We like you know Earth, Water. Yeah, I think yeah. Owls and Avatar's sphere would be the spirit world, right? Because that's you know I yeah. think that's a reasonable um, one, and I think that that would be a good way. And uh, like a fun exercise. Yeah, to, no, it that, and it would be a good way to like proof the system because like right now, right. I think we're missing something. I, I can't put my finger on it. Oh, I think wait, spheres wait. and aspects are too. There's still not enough difference in my mind between them. Does that make sense? Um. Really? Like, I don't. Are you just well, saying it's I hard to like? Come I kind no, I kind of get it actually because like, okay, I'm just so I create a character. Okay, I create a god named a fall, and right. a fall is gonna be, um, we'll say he's a fire. And this is just to help me understand this. So right. I make a fall, and a fall, I pick the sphere fire. So every mm -hmm. aspect I pick for the rest of the game has to be in the fire sphere, correct? Right. Okay. And then at level one, maybe I pick illumination. Okay. Right. Or I assume we're gonna have levels. However, this ends up working. Right. I pick illumination. So. Yeah. I feel like I would be a fire god, not the god of illumination. I feel like illumination is an aspect of me, but it is not my whole. Because, like, does that make sense? Yeah, I see what you're saying. That it's like, like well, I, That's I, I why I don't that, like, like the idea of saying, oh, I'm the god of the forge, or I'm the god of forest fires. I think those are aspects of me being the god of fire, is my sphere. I see what you're saying. But, like, but like I think the problem with saying you're the god of fire is then we're... It's hard because, like, technically there aren't really, like, multiple gods of... Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, most myth mythologies, 
you're saying yeah. you're the god of something yeah. more specific than just i'm the god of fire right yeah i think the problem is that elemental like i think one of the problems is that elemental stuff is like different right yeah. like it's like yeah. it, it's more broad by its definition like if you look at greek mythology there's a lot more but they don't even you know, like have this sphere nonsense like i think we added a layer of complexity that we don't need to i think we should almost remove spheres and just have the aspects I don't. We're, we're almost my, so adding a layer of bureaucracy yeah, that we don't I see need. What you're saying. Does that I, make I sense? Do, but but like I think the problem with 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 removing spheres entirely is that it's like almost too. We don't have any guidance, right? Like like we're just like make aspects, right? And it's like how, <laughs> someone's like, okay, what make an aspect. Mean? What's an aspect? Shut up and make what you know. <laughs> yeah, right. Or even if we describe what an aspect is, like I feel like sphere. Like this is a helpful way to say like spheres like because we don't want people to to choose yeah sorry we shouldn't say we no. don't i mean like this is sort of our free form and we need some guidance and we need to be able to say no to some things right? so we need to here's say, like, what i would you say. cannot just say i'm the god of like existence right <laughs> you need to, like, <laughs> well you know, so you here's to, like, what i would say, say to yeah. remedy this is we yeah. need to have like four or five spheres yeah. that are universal to any setting and that's it and then aspects go within those five spheres does that make sense? Um, sorry, wait, well, can you just give me a hot second? Welcome to the vodcast, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm trying to organize something, like, plans for oh, yeah. just want to, like... Well, yeah. while, while Hunter's texting, I'll speak to the audience here. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe below all i got for you if you want to um, okay, if you want to okay. fund this show you can send your advertising regards uh in the comment <laughs> section and we can make something happen um, all right what were you saying about i think S we should have like four or five or some number of spheres that are universal to any setting and aspects fit within those spheres um but i don't think we should have spheres and aspects unique to each setting i think the spheres should be universal and smaller in number but I don't okay so here's why I don't like that is I don't like that because then that's restricting the players because like that's like true. we cannot cover every aspect we cannot list every sphere and I don't think it's a huge ask to say like hey like before you start the game you know like think about like brain and like honestly this would make a great session one yeah if you're like especially you want to do it before the GM even makes the world to say okay guys like you know or you could do that you or you guys as GM you could just like make this you could say okay guys like we're gonna let's brainstorm what do we want like i'm thinking of doing this kind of world you know you know let's like let's think of like you know in this world spheres are like the broad strokes of like a world so like in if we're playing in a greek world your spheres might be like you know the god of war the god of the hearth the god of the sun like think about like you know all your you know gods um, okay. If you want to play a more, I've got like, you know, I've got an idea, Hunter, and yeah. you are going to go bananas for this. Okay. And this is the key right that on. we were missing, I think. What? We are not going to write spheres. You and I are not going to write spheres. We are going to write questions that the GM asks the players at session zero. The answers to those questions are the spheres for the game. So, for example, one question. Oh, I'm just oh. I'm just BSing one right now. One question yeah. might be, um, you know. What does the average person think important in their life? And, you know, you might say family. Okay, one of the spheres for this game is family. Um, what is it, you know, what is a, um, a, you know, and we need to write these questions, but I think we have to write right. like five or six questions or maybe That's four really questions. Good, yeah. And those four questions, the answers to each of those define what the spheres are for the game. So we, like us writing these spheres right now is... Maybe I, maybe a waste of time. Um, I think we need to write these questions, and then would we answer the questions for the world of you know the Greek myth, myth uh, pantheon, or if we ask these questions of the Avatar world, if it works, we should get the right spheres. That's a really good idea. I like. I, I really like. Yeah, I like that. That's and then aspects. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out later. But um, make the, make questions that guide the creation of spheres. Spheres in a world. Yeah. So like, okay. Yeah, yeah, and I think I think we need to have like four or five questions. 
the GM asks the players. Um, and maybe they're multiple choice, or more likely, maybe they're free, totally, you know, free, free form answers. Um, right. Well, I think. I mean, I think it. It, it would have to. Yeah, we'd have to have something that's like guiding them in it to say like to not say, because like basically the, the problem here is you just don't want someone to like make something too broad or too narrow, right? Well, it can be sort of broad, because a sphere like you know should right. be pretty big. But it, yeah, you're right. It shouldn't be like. Yeah, like a sphere should be everything. Like, what are you? You know, what are people afraid of? Everything. That's too broad. So right. Maybe maybe, maybe, maybe a, one maybe question help, should yeah. be. Let's let's yeah. get a question going. And again, we can delete these, change these, revise these. Right. Maybe one question is, um, like, what is like, what causes fear amongst the people of the of the mortal world? Is that too broad? Because somebody's going to say, like, wolves or something, or orcs. And that's, like, that's a dumb idea for a sphere. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if that's a terrible... Uh, maybe, I don't know. I feel like these questions are better, almost better for, like, aspects, right? Because, like, that would be a good aspect, right? It's like, it would be, like, orcs. orcs. Or yeah. Orcs oh, my God. Like yeah, that. okay, so we need to think of a question for spheres. Like, um... Hmm. Let me just, like, okay, let me ask you, Hunter. What question would get the answer of chaos? You know what I mean? Like, let's start yeah. with the answer and reverse. And I don't even know. So I'm trying to think. Like, oh man, this is. Well, hard. Well, here, here's another thing. Okay, here's another thing I was thinking of. Maybe this might help us. Is I feel like the amount of spheres also determines the complexity of the world in terms of not only just like, you know, there's like a lot more stuff going on, but also just like how pe how nuanced people's like morality is, right? Cuz like if you're if your if your world has just two spheres or just three spheres, like morality is probably fairly like un, you know, I mean, I don't know, maybe that's a bad thing to say cuz like at, you know, for our our elemental example, there's only like you know, four or something like that. But I feel like if you have a, if you have two spheres, it's very difficult to say that like one isn't the bad sphere and one isn't the good sphere, or one isn't the order sphere and one isn't the chaos sphere. Like no one's gonna have two spheres in their world, and it's like the hearth and like like you know the hearth and like farming. And even then, like <laughs> like anytime there's like two things, it just immediately makes them seem opposed to each other, right? Like I could say the hearth and war and like or sorry maybe a better would be like hearth and like uh knight knighthood or something and like yeah. immediately you probably think like okay those are opposed you know like like, like there's yeah. people who support the hardest people like if you have two you're like immediately setting up this like which this i don't think i don't think that's terrible i don't think that's terrible actually no i know and i'm so i'm trying to say i'm trying to think like it's like if you have like two to three spheres your world's going to be very like like, like, uh, there's more like, you know, th th there's more like black and white, right? Almost, and like, yeah. you know, or maybe like just the, sh you know, shade of gray or something. But like, the minute you kind of go beyond three, I feel like you. It's start almost to like go... when you're talk when you're you know talk about a line versus a plane, right? When you add that next dimension, it becomes infinitely more complex. It's the same right. with spheres. The more spheres you have, the yeah, the more it's almost like thinking of it like colors. Yeah, that's a great way to put it. If you just have two, it's going to be black and white. But once you start adding right. more, you get reds and blues. Exactly. Yeah, you have like the color wheel. Yeah. So I'm trying to think like, if we were really going off of that, like. Well, so okay, maybe maybe we should. Oh my god, there's a great Tom Scott video about how different cultures all create <laughs> colors in roughly the same pattern, which is really fascinating for the most part. Um, yeah. Maybe we should start think of it that way. So almost all cultures, um, if I'm remembering this video correctly, develop you know black and white or dark and light. That's the first thing that is developed, you know, linguistically, is descriptors for black and white, you know, dark and light. So right. maybe we should start with that. Like, I, you know, good and evil, you know, postmodernism aside, like, maybe we need to ask, what is good in this world? What is evil in this world? And maybe oh, those are whoa, the first whoa. two spheres. Oh, yeah, no, that's actually, oh, that's perfect. Like, what if it's like, the first question is like, is there true evil in this world? Right? And if that, if that is, if there is, think of a way say add a sphere that is evil or think of some or think of something like the same as that 
Like, like you know, like that would be a great first question. Is like, is there actual evil in this world, or is this world like, you know, you know, is it is it just is everything morally gray, right? Like, if you think like Avatar, yeah, it's not really true. Like, is there's not like true inherent evil in Avatar, right? Like, they explain everyone is like the way they are for a certain reason, right? Like, even like the shitty people. Yeah. And so, like, you would say, no, there's not, like, true evil. There's no evil sphere yeah. in Avatar. But in, like... Or maybe that someone does do that. Maybe someone is, like, you know, like, makes the Avatar with an evil sphere. I don't know. Yeah. But I think that, like, that, like... Like, define it in one word. And I think these and are the add first... add it as a sphere. Well... I wouldn't, even put that, I wouldn't even put that direction because all of these well, are going to result in... Well, no, this would have to be... Like, like I said, this doesn't have to be our... Yeah, I guess our final. Evil. You know, like, just to, like... I mean, we can we can make a better way to phrase that later. Yeah. This is just our first draft. But I think it is good for our own thought yeah, process. Yeah, no, that's... Because like, yeah. when we come back to the word... Word could be simply... Good. Oh, this is like, oh, you know what, then we could do something like, like, I think the third one should be like, if... So we have, if there, you know what, and part, for now we can leave it. Part of me says, we need to not even ask, is there true evil in this world? What? Um, yes, I agree that in, you know, reality, maybe there's no such thing as true, good, or evil. Um, but there's things that are so darn near close to it that I would categorize it as like, you know, evil, right? So I think, and it's also a game, it's not reality, so it might be, we're inventing gods too, so there's some level of, it's already fan, fantastical and all that. Well, we can say that there's evil and good. Well, you know? no, but, no, but, no, but I don't, I, but I don't, I don't think, like, like I said, I don't think in Avatar you would have good and evil spheres, right? Like, like, that's what, like, maybe it would be good that's to say, true, like, true, true unchangeable, or, like, un, like, like, it cannot, like, it yeah. is evil, you're not reforming it. Like, you know, like, like. Yeah, that's true true like maybe immutable evil or something yeah. you know like like we can just put whatever you know yeah like i think i think these questions should no, be no like, no that's like, okay that's a fair point that's a fair point if you were trying like, to kind of it in more ways right true immutable evil like you will not change it it is evil it is not going so it's like let's think lord of the rings like, like lord of the rings right that's what so is lord there the true immutable that. evil in this world yes Yes. Uh, if so, define evil? it in one word and add it as a spirit. Now, I don't know how I would define true evil in Lord of the Rings. Would I, would I say, say would I evil. say Sauron, or would I just keep it at, keep it as, as evil? I'd probably just keep I, it as evil. I'd probably just keep it as evil. Like like, yeah, you just keep it as evil. But I think like, we'd have to describe so what's, what a spirit what's a is. world? What's a word that you would use that isn't evil? Um. I mean, okay, in Lord of the Rings, you could say that evil is orcs, right? You could say... But is that like, a sphere? The orc sphere? <laughs> but, that, but okay, okay, here's a good way to think Maybe of it. That, that implies yeah. that all things that are evil are orcish, and that is not true. Well, maybe we should just say, if so, yeah, add if so, it as a sphere. Yeah, add you know, evil like, as a sphere. Yeah. It's a sphere, right? If so, add... Evil, yeah, duh. That's a way better way to do it. If so, um, yeah. Okay, that. I mean, I, is... I still feel like we should add something like or equivalent or like or. You know, like I don't know. Like, no, you know but if like... we've we've given the perfect like, we asked, is there true immutable evil? They said yes. So then, evil is a sphere. You know what I mean? That's, well, no, but you know what I'm thinking is like I'm like I'm trying. Okay, let me think if I can think of an example where like you wouldn't want to say evil, but you would have immutable evil. <laughs> like, yeah, like that's you know the I mean? thing. No, we we've asked so specifically: is there evil in your world? That's, yeah, there's evil. Okay, true. then call okay. it evil. You know what I mean? You know what? We'll, we'll stick. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, there's true evil, but it's like not so evil. Actually. <laughs> if it looks like evil and quacks like evil. It's yeah. Like evil. <laughs> um, okay, so we've either defined if good and evil exist or not. Okay. Right. Um, <laughs> wow, that took 46 minutes <laughs> to define if there's good and evil in the fictional <laughs> world, and there might not be. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, no, no. But I think I think that's important because I think like I think we can think about this. Like um, we we need we need to think about this like because these are questions we need to think about them things a little bit like within 
certain lenses, right? Okay, because so it's like maybe here's another right. question to ask. Yeah. Um, what is um, what uh, what in, what intangible thing is treasured by the people of the world? Wait, here one thing we should say is is there anything as important as this struggle between good and evil if not end here you know like because i feel like there's like if that's if that's the summation of the worlds or well, I don't know if it's anything as important, but you know what I'm saying? Like, if there's because there's some worlds where, like, there's no more, like, that's like Lord of the Rings, right? Like, there's no gods really. Lord okay, of the Rings you know, I, I love that beyond. you included that. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna not make that a question, and it'll be part of the, the directions that you're given is stop after any question when you believe there are enough spheres. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you could stop if you want to stop just after good and evil. Totally fine. Encouraged by the game. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, okay. So I would ask, um, and I'll have you. You know, we can we will edit this together. Um, what is one intangible thing that is highly treasured by the people of the mortal world? So I'm thinking here you might say family or you might say um, survival or food. You know what I mean? And that might yeah. be a sphere. Um, um, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like we don't even need to say like – this um, as a sphere. Oops. I said – I said – oh, I said intangible so they wouldn't be like gold. No. No, I know, but I'm trying. No, it's not that. I'm trying to think. Like, I almost feel like you could list like that question. You could list a few things, right? You don't have to do. Yeah. One oh, that's thing. a good point. Yeah. Um, so it's like repeat has <laughs> this <needed>. question. <laughs> uh, oh, you, you know what? Um, every player should answer this question. Oh, that would actually be good because then it would ensure that everybody's getting one point. spear per player in the game. Yeah, which I think is an important thing. So, yeah, um, so, like, you know, if Hunter and I were making a... If you and I were making a world right now, we would each get to share one intangible thing that people value in this world. So I might say family, and maybe maybe you say war. Maybe you say, yeah, a lot of people love war. <laughs> here, here's, here, here's a really th a good or thing. Or fun. You could say here. fun. Like, that could be something. <laughs> what if we just pull up Greek god list? Yeah, like, yeah. I just want to see, like, all the gods of, and then we can see, like... gotta be a, like a pdf or not or an excel list of like aphrodite okay aphrodite is the god of beauty love desire and pleasure so i feel like beauty could be so beauty could be the intangible thing that's treasure yeah, yeah right? totally yeah music yeah music's an intangible thing that's treasured Arts, knowledge. Yeah, all these TV, things. Yeah, plagues. Well, pl are plagues intangible? Though? Oh, so, so now we should have one that is uh, disaster, also a bad right? thing. Yeah. Oh, what are what is what is? Oh, I think a question what is would be one what disaster? is one threat to oh, these yeah. intangible? Because like a plague is a threat to what family, right? You know, threat to one of the spheres already listed listen right because it's just like this the threatening spheres of those as add this as a sphere every player should answer this question so what is one threat to one of the spheres already listed um and should i say one existential threat or just a threat uh one i think we should say one tangible or or maybe we should say one intangible. No. Well, okay. I guess. I guess. Question is, is like. Well, okay, I feel is like it by is it by default tangible or intangible if we say nothing? 
Well, no, because I think intangible is a good way to say it, right? Because it's like, I feel like playing. So, isn't really so like I could God. say, like, I could say nature. I could say nature here. Um, right. Yeah, because nature could be a threat to, like, civilization, right? Or civilization yeah. is a threat to nature. Because I think I'd actually say I think I, I like that you said intangibility because I feel like when something becomes a tangible threat, it is no longer a sphere; it's an aspect. Yeah, right? that's a good. So you would, you wouldn't yeah. say volcanoes, but you might say nature. I'm gonna say that up here. I'm gonna say spheres tend to be intangible. Intangible, whereas aspects tend to be tangible. Whereas aspects are tangible manifestations of them. Okay. Right. Oh, that's actually a really good way to think about it, right? Like. Like, maybe it's hard because, like, water is tangible, earth is tangible, air is, is tangible. And fire so like, is tangible. So all of these... The sun, the, sun, these, the moon, the heart... So the I'm going to delete these because these are no longer... No, 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 no. I think that's a terrible idea. <laughs> Wait, no, why? no, no. I think... We I just think, said that... Like, no, we just said that water is... I think, I think, I think we need to say our, our rule is, like, not hard, right? Like, maybe you should say something that's like... Fair. Elemental... Dull spheres... I mean, also, because, like, you could be, like, the... No, because would humanity be a sphere? They'd be, like, a... I guess humanity could be, right? Like, humanity could is technically intangible, right? Yeah. You can't, like, touch all yeah. of humanity or, like, what it yeah. actually means. Elemental spheres are an exception to this. Maybe others. I mean, this is yeah. not... Like, we're yeah, going to yeah. write all these facts anyway, so... Yeah, um, no, that, no. Okay, that's a good point. That's a good point. Okay, let's let's go through some more of these. Courage is definitely an intangible thing. Treasured. War is it, that could be treasured or a threat. Bloodshed is yeah, bloodshed's kind of the same thing. I mean, that fits in both those. Violence, same thing. Um, well, we got yeah, hunt, yeah, yeah. So you, you could have war would be the intangible threat here. And right. peace, yeah. So like, what is one thing that's highly treasured it would be peace, and then what's a threat to that peace? War. Um, exactly. Yeah. Oh, and this like, is great because it's naturally going to make opposing spheres, which I think is good, but it doesn't have to because also there could be some threat. There could be two threats that apply to the same treasured thing. You know what I mean? Right. Let's see here. Let's look at like – I just want to like – Oh, and there could be a threat to another threat. You know what I mean? Because somebody you – know, oh, I could say right. war is a threat to peace and then somebody else could say – well, a threat to war is, you know, what, what if we said disease, this? you know, pestilence. We said, um, if you feel you need more spheres, think of one intangible threat to one of the spheres already listed. We already have that. That's question four. No, but like, it's like it's like another round, right? Like, 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 like you're saying, right? Like, because you right now you can't have a threat to a threat. So if you feel like, no, if yeah, you, you can. Feel universe, yes, you can. After like, the you mean, like, and so I I give my threat is war. Then on your turn you can give a threat to war. Well, maybe we should say if you feel any more for spheres, continue to think. Yeah, I would just say add them. To think of. Answers. Maybe we should say answers to questions three and four. Three and four. Um, and yeah, there's no limit to the number of spheres you can have. However, um, this and this is good because let's say a, I think a pretty standard game has four players and a and a GM. I think that's a pretty commonly accepted normal amount. Um, so that would be five players at the table. Assuming you have good and evil, and you answer these questions, everybody gets an answer. That is already twelve spheres. Right. Let me let me um, see. Like, like every, oh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna say every not every player should answer this question. Every player may answer this question because somebody just might be like, no, I th I like the ones that we have. Um, every right. player may answer this question. Every player may answer this question.
Like that, maybe. Yeah, in no particular order. Yeah. Let's, like, let's, like, you should look up, I'm looking up Aztec gods, you should look up, like, Egyptian gods, maybe to get, like, one Ooh. more, like, and well, let's just, like, make sure all of these, like, look, like, you I, fit I had an idea, there. too, and we do, we do not have to do this, I just thought of this. So, we just have a system right now where you add a bunch of spheres, right? Right. Should there be a final question where we require the group to cut out spheres? Or no? Oh, so to really like to really you know it's like boiling it down basically um to, right. re to reduce it to the essence so like um reduce oh, reduce the current sphere you know i'm just gonna make up a number reduce the current spheres to the number of players you know to the number of players or number of players plus one whatever yeah you have a good i mean we definitely need like something oh no like, this is so wait, easy wait, like once remember... you have a good list of spheres every player chooses one to keep in the game no no, no. i was thinking like oh. every player yeah yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm agreeing i think that we should have more than just one per player though i think we should have like you know two per player or something sure yeah th or, that or... seems better to me too i think we should say something like remember oh, i don't need to capitalize it remember spheres are dictating what God, I'm trying to think of like it, the best it dictates like, what matters in the world that's that's that is what it is yeah dictate what matters in the world and more spheres means more world complexity yep and that makes sense. The more players you have in your game, the more complex the world will be because collectively you you have more brain power in the game. Right. Um, everything else, basically. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, once the group is done creating spheres, each player should pick... Uh, two sphere, and this is just for now. Two spheres to keep in the game. The unchosen spheres are rejected. Um, so it's it, this is just the boiling it down, the um, keeping it so that you don't have a hundred spheres right. in the game. I feel like we should say like. Yes. No, I feel like we should say like I, I feel like this should be communal. I don't think we should say each player. I think we should say like Oh, you know what? Okay, maybe I, maybe to like, blend Well, I would say to blend them, each player gets to choose one because that's important that if nobody else agrees with you, you still get to put something in the game. I think that's important. Um what? <laughs> Do you if no one that? agrees with you and everyone hates your idea, you should still include it so you have a terrible gaming experience. Like, you know, I mean, like, I feel like it should be like, don't be a dick. Like, I don't think you need to competitively, like, supersede people to, like, keep a sphere in the game, right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't think, I, I think that's like, I mean, this is a pretty far, I mean, this is like literally setting the tone of the world. I feel like just saying, like, you can just be like, fuck you. And I mean, no one would even listen to that rule, right? Like, who would even, like, you would immediately just, like, veto that rule and be like, you know, that's stupid. Like, we're not going to, like, have people... Do you know what you see what I'm saying, right? I get you, I get you. But, like... Because, like, 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 let's okay. say you, me, and, like, Justin were playing a game, and you're like, I think that there should be a, a sphere of, like, you know, like, metal. And, like, the whole point is that, like, you know, metal isn't part of the world or something. You know, it's like... You're, like, well, why even have the ability... You know, that's what I'm saying, like, communally... I feel like communally, you could kind of come together and decide one. But... Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. I don't that. know. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Assume, I don't know. I'm I can. Like... I can see the argument for the other side as well, where you have an idea that you want to explore, and everyone else is, um, you know, they they think that there are better mm -hmm. ideas, and you disagree, and like, um, you right. think that a really good idea is getting lost. But I can see where hopefully you're not playing with dicks, like you said, and everyone. Right. Well, like, okay. Yeah, we can include that. Well, I'm also trying to figure out how you could, because like, okay, like I think I see a problem with the two like both i mean really both of the ideas right like one per player or like two per player is that that's not really like 
like, let's say you wanted to play with, like, an elemental thing, right? Or something like that. Like, I feel like it should almost be, like, communally decide how many spheres to include and which ones. Because it's, like, you know what I mean? Like, like and, and have, like, a, a guiding chart of saying, like, you know, if you're trying to play a more, like, you know, simple, like, elemental game, you might want to just have, like, you know, one sphere for each of the quote-unquote main elements, you know, oh, and, like, okay, have no yeah. more, and have, yeah, and have you, this many, you know, but if you want to play, like, a Greek god one, you could have, like, you know, yeah. Greek, Greek world has, like, 20, you know, maybe more than that, maybe t more than 20 spheres. So it's like, I don't know how to, like, say that. I'm also like, you, you know what? Chart, I don't you know? think, now that, now that, like, we're thinking about this, I don't yeah. think we know enough about the game yet to be able to advise them how to call it. Yeah, I would So agree. I think we'll, yeah. let's, let's leave this here for now. Um, just right. call it potential culling. Because we don't mm -hmm. know. Maybe it is going to be for the best to only have three spears. Maybe mm -hmm. that's, like, way too many. Um, you know, that maybe we've, maybe a dozen is, like, an unfathomable amount of spheres. So I don't think we know enough yet to know how many we should have. Right. Uh, but I think these are good questions. I really like this. Yes, I, I like this. I like, I, I think it's important to have, like, it's a lot harder. Like, we have the creation of spheres. The calling, that can happen later. That's, yeah. like, you know, we'll feel that out as we, as we play around with it. Okay, um, so, Hunter, and maybe it, 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 it I'm going to say it is too early to do this, but right. just as a practice, right. just as a practice, um, let's make a world right now. Let's make spheres, just you and I, just as a dummy test, just to see what this might look like. Um, so I'm going to ask you, Hunter, is there true... Uh, we're making up a world right now, you and me. <laughs> okay. Is there a true... Maybe we should pick a world as a guide, so we're not oh, like, okay. yeah, waste yeah. so, a bunch of time trying um, to think of. Like, let's think. Um, let's do, like, Norse mythology. Do you want to do Norse? True, true Norse okay. mythology. So is... The, and I don't know that much about it, and I don't know... <laughs> I don't really either. I know um, AOM. <laughs> is there true immutable evil in this world? What do you think? Um, um, in Norse mythology... I don't know. That's actually hard. Like, I almost think, I almost want to say there is true immutable evil, but like not true immutable good. Yeah, I could see that. Right? Because like, I don't know. Like, the yeah, because like person... the frost aren't the frost giants actually evil? Like Ragnarok is actually just like evil. And Ragnarok's act, yeah, isn't Ragnarok like actually bad? Yeah. Like, I don't think it's like. And I think you're right. There is no true good. Uh, yeah. Again, we could be wrong. Hunter and I are not experts, and <laughs> yeah, feel free to like comment. Yeah, with yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So let's say there is evil, and it's also more interesting to do it this way. Let's say there yeah. is evil in the world, but there's not good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Hunter, right, which is cool. Actually, yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah. yeah, you could have like. I like that they're separate questions for that reason. Yeah. Okay, Hunter. What is one intangible thing that is highly treasured by the people of the mortal world? In it, so the the in... Scandinavian people, um, it, you know, circa six hundred. Um, um, what is something that is intangible and highly treasured? Highly treasured. I would say, like, isn't, like, is honor a big one? I, okay, I was going to say that. So, yes, yeah, totally. That's honor. it. I think, like, yeah. honor. Um, I think I think you could also say, and maybe this is related to honor, but that's, like, that's fine. Sac um, isn't sacrifice a big thing? In, ooh, like, oh, do you want to change yours to sacrifice then? Because you get one. You get one. Yeah, let's do sacrifice. Let's do sacrifice. Sac yeah. And I also like that, um, and maybe we need to take out this question five. I like that question five, but I almost like that it forces you to um, choose one. But again, we don't know if we want lots or few of spheres. Right, right, um, right. So evil sacrifice. I was going to say, like, um, I don't know, what the, like your clan, your tribe, your um, what's, oh, what's what's like the community like, called? Yeah, your community. Oh, your community, yeah. community, yeah. I think there is a, I can't think of the Scandinavian word for it, but yeah, yeah. your village, whatever. Your, your, your community. I think that's important. Your thorp. <laughs> <laughs> your thorp. Shut the fuck up. Somebody went on donjon.com too much. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, so now we do question intangible four. threat. Yeah. yeah, so what is a threat to evil sacrifice and community? Oh, so a threat to evil would be... Uh, could we say a threat to one of the spheres? Well, yeah, it, to a sphere. So a threat to something important. I like wait, wait, hold too, on. Like, wait, for question three, do we, yeah. we, do we highly treasure sacrifice? Am I... I think so. I, I, I think that, like, I'm trying to think, like, so, like, Odin, like, sacrificed an eye. Like, 
there's like they don't they I think there was sacrifice of like goats. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. And okay. I like and I like that like sacrifice could also mean like your life, right? Like yeah. Bad, well, there like, was human you know, sacrifice too, but yeah, yeah, I agree. Okay, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, like sacrifice can mean many. Sacrifice can also mean sacrificing your family to go yeah. raid or something, you know, or something. Okay, like Okay, I've got one, and this maybe isn't fitting to Norse, but I uh, just yeah. as an example here, um, what is an intangible threat to something already listed? The a threat to sacrifice could be like greed. Um, you know, oh, I mean, yeah. That, yeah, that, no, that no, maybe like doesn't that. fit with the Norse mythology. No, I actually think it does because it wasn't like weren't like elves and like dwarves. Like were those were like sort of like Finnish or like Scandinavian like things. And I think they were like greedy, right? Like greedy. greed and like trolls were like ravenous, right? And like like they ate a lot. And well, stuff. so like, that sounds that sounds like you almost want to put like fey as your thing, like trolls. No, 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 no. I think it's an intent because a fey is a tangible, right? Oh, that's fey true. That's true. So I think an intangible ass, but I think that is a good one. Like it's like gluttony okay. or greed, right? Greed. Like, I totally agree, though. I think that that's okay. a great one. Yeah. And then maybe let's try and think um, of one. Like what would be a threat? What's a threat to, to evil? Human? That's like oh, a threat to evil. Maybe a threat to evil is power, because power can be used against evil, right? That's oh, also yeah. a threat to community as well. Yeah, power. Power. Oh, and that's a cool one. Yeah. Okay. So. A power sphere. Yeah. Okay, so that would be each of us answering this. Um, yeah. If you feel you need to add more spheres, continue to think of answers to question three and four, um, so we can we can add one. Is there anything that we think we're missing in terms of like capturing the essence of Scandinavian winter? culture? Winter, maybe. Actually, that's just a fan that is a fantastic. Well, is winter tangible? No, it's not. No, we can't touch winter. It's, yeah, it's it's, 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 sea, it's you know it's the snow. Yeah. The, yeah. I think um, winter power, greed, community sacrifice. I think yeah. That sounds I, good to me. Yeah. Okay, now that's super fun. So then, yeah. <laughs> so then we would move on to um, making our gods, I think. And here you would like um, you would choose. Wait, okay, what sphere is your wait, god? Wait, here's part? what I think we should do. Here's what I think we should do. Is I yeah. think so. I I have to go. Yeah, no, I so yeah. I, think, I was saying that I we don't do this today. Yeah, we stop. No, 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 today. no, no. Yeah, and I think this is perfect because if this works out well, we'll come back. We'll write the questions to make aspects. Or however we're gonna make aspects, then we can take these exact lists and we can try and make a list of. You know stuff, and then what I think we should do is we should take that list and compare it to the actual list of Norse gods and see like, did did this work right? Like, yeah. if maybe one of our aspects of sacrifice is like, like animal sacrifice or like or yeah, yeah. or you know familial sacrifice or something like that. Like, we'll see if there actually is a Norse. I, mean, totally. I, don't, I don't even know. You know? Yeah, I, <laughs> <If they're> I, <laughs> right. So yeah, if we're right, this should be good. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, this is nice. this is great. Um, I'm really liking this. Um, and you know what's funny is that we God RPG put aside this whole system of like these questions and spheres. This is just a good way to like develop a theme for any tabletop role playing game. Right, right. Well, that's that's almost the best systems, right? Is where you can pull little bits out that you want. Like that's yeah. how well, that's kind of what Microscope is, right? It's yeah, like, Microscope yeah. has this like other big aspect to it that yeah. a lot of people don't even use because they're like yeah. they just want the good the good stuff at the beginning. Yeah. So. Oh my god. Okay, well, uh, so I think we're gonna cut it there. Um, I don't know. Did you, did you? Did we make good progress today? Yeah, we make we made good progress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we got another episode to maybe round out this, and then uh, maybe in that same episode we could start in the mortal world, mortal. and hopefully by yeah. then we'll. Also, we haven't even talked about like gameplay or creating like your guy. Oh yeah. <laughs> so it's like still so much. To go. In, in terms of a rule book, we're on like page three. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. <laughs> Which oh is good. We put – this is a solid hour. We we really, you know, yeah, narrowed yeah. in on this. That was this good. is good progress. Okay. I, this is – I don't know about you. One more thing I think is like I've never – we've – you know, me and George have done a lot of stuff like this. And it's – I think this is so different doing it in like a limited context because normally, you know, you and me will do this for like, you know, four hours straight, right, or something yeah. like that. And then we'll like never touch it again. Right, so I'm, I'm interested to see how this goes because I'm, I'm definitely, especially today, I'm feeling like different about it. Like it's like this feels like a different than any other one we've done. Yeah, so. definitely. And I, I yeah. even if nobody ever watches these videos, it keeps us honest and it keeps us working on it. So right, yeah. Uh, if you yeah. are watching, please let us know that we have viewership. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, okay. God. Well, uh, let's uh, sign off, and we will see you guys next time. See y'all later.